Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a hard drive in a Synology NAS uh, RS816. You can see our uh, first drive here. The health status is at the failing state. So we want to replace this drive as soon as possible because that means there's so many bad sectors um, on that drive. We need to replace it before we lose the array. Um, so the first thing you want to do is back up your data. That's very important. Back up your data because just because it's an array does not mean... Um, you know, it's you know you can have a second drive fail when it's rebuilt on that first drive. So just to be on the safe side, back up all your data, then replace the drive. Um, so let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, you can see we're now at our Synologies, and you can see we have a lot of Synologies here. Uh, so the one we're talking about today is this uh, Synology RS816, which is right here. So our drive one is failing. So you want to go ahead and unlock the drive, and once it's unlocked, you can go ahead and just pull the tab out and then I'll slide it right out and you can see our Synology is still live if it starts beeping um, you know that's normal because it's just letting you know uh, via sound that yep and there goes the beeping so now we want to go ahead and get the new drive and get this replaced and if you go back to the Synology login you can see it's in a degrade performance now which is just fine and it's good it's we just pull that drive out and now we're gonna get our uh, second drive here exactly the same a three terabyte WD drive and let's go ahead and take the screws out and get this replaced all right we got all of our screws off and you just simply do exactly the same put the four screws back in we can slide this back in all right we have our new drive we're gonna slide that back in now this will take a couple minutes for it to initialize, but it should be pretty quick and the beeping should stop. And you can see we already got the green light on disk one. And it'll still keep beeping and flashing the status orange until we go into the uh, console and add the new drive to that array. All right, once we log into our uh, DS manager, go into uh, storage manager. Once storage manager goes up, go to storage pool. And then you want to go to Actions, Repair. And you can see it's already detecting Drive 1, the 3 terabyte drive we just put in. So hit Next. Hit OK. Just This is letting you know it's formatting that drive. And then hit Apply. So now it's basically adding that new drive we just put in uh, back to the add array. And it's going to go through this repair process. So this can take a couple of days. It just depends on how big of your hard drive you have. So a three terabyte drive, it shouldn't take that long. Uh, I'm thinking 20 hours, maybe less. Uh, it just really depends on how fast the drives are. Uh, so let's just let this run and you should be all set after this repair is done. Hopefully uh, it's successful and you don't lose any data and hopefully you did backups before you replace that drive. All right, that's all there is to it.